If you've got a working solderless breadboard prototype of your project, the next logical step is to make it more permanent by translating your project to a solder type breadboard. If you're able to acquire two of every component in your circuit, you can have the luxury of referencing your solderless prototype as you build the soldered version. If not, you can unplug and transfer the components over one at a time, leaving the wires in place in case you need to reference them, or just use a photo to refer back to. You can learn how to solder in a previous episode of this series, then get your practice in by building your circuit. It's a lot of trimming, stripping, and tinning wires, plugging them into the board, flipping it over, soldering, on repeat until everything's hooked up. I like to use a little circuit board vise to hold it steady. Check out the playlist with the rest of this series and subscribe to be sure you don't miss the next one. Mm -hmm.